Good evening, good evening. How do you all do? How do you all do? How do you all do? On the YouTube live crew. Um, let me get a look on my Steam wishes real quick. What games come out today? Winter Survival. A difficult game about climbing. Ooh. How are you, Josh? Fresh Fighters Infinite look amazing. Uh, good, thank you. How are you, Anna? Yeah, we've got some pretty sick photos. We, uh, I, I have some photos of Northern Lights as well, which would be sick. Um, got some more photos. Need to post them at some point in my life, probably. Give you a grind on. Yeah, basically. I never up on the channel, no. Uh, yes, but not today. It's too late to be going on that. I don't, I don't, I haven't really got like a want to go on it either. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Did you see they added a 40 hour per week cap to the grinding? How does that work? What do you mean? What, well, you can't, you can't be seen to work that long? Or grind that long? 40 hours? 40 hours? I mean, I guess that's same as like real life. <laughs> Can you work overtime? Do you get extra money for overtime? Pacific Drive, it wouldn't be a bad shout to honest. Like it should be smart to um, actually finish games that I've started. Uh, that's such on the grind. I really just want to do well on YouTube's again right now. Um, videos and get back like now because I, I was ahead like a week or more and i've fallen behind because i've been away right uh thank you today with the membership appreciate you so i'd like to get back to being ahead and like doing whatever and i still need to work out what i do with these channels I, I i i keep sitting there out of nowhere going oh you know what i might just i might just press a button and do it like i might just make zerka clips zerka reacts or zerka plus becomes zerka reacts and just do it and then have zerka actually plays as a whole new channel and just that just whatever then I say that, and then I don't have to, I've not ever got enough. Have I got enough time to do these things? I don't know. I don't know. Why do Twitch? I haven't. I just over there is the RP world. I've, I feel at this point, uh, and the big big games. This is me going live just to record and have some fun. Any time you had the Simon cereal? Well, we've had samples and stuff for a long time. So me and Freya have gone through a good amount of boxes. I'm not gonna lie, Freya especially. Uh, Andy Lindsay with the membership as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Could always multi-stream as well. Two streams together. Yeah, basically, as soon as YouTube has the feature, and Kick has the feature, to be honest, to be able to split audio, I probably would just do across all three at the same time every time. That would be ideal for me. That's in Parry and June Grand then. Yeah, Factos, Factos. Do you games to be banging at the moment? Yeah, it's doing well. It's fair. I see it's doing well for other people as well, like with Simon. So maybe it's worth playing sooner rather than later. I'll be leaving it too late if I just don't, don't touch it. It's a bit like gas station later. I left it too late. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You away again soon? Uh, yes, but not long. Not for long. I'm away again twice again soon, but not for long. One's longer than the other. I think the Spoons each for exit. I don't actually know if that Spoons has it or not. I, was, I feel like I said that Spoons not long ago. I don't, know, I don't know if it does or not. F124, of course. And it'd probably be better. That, 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 that'd be a game that I would do well to YouTube stream because I'll enjoy it more. So anyway, we did, the, we did the crew, right? And I actually loved just sitting there playing the crew all day, every day. <laughs> that was good fun. Is that something to the forest? Not yet, no. Any variety? That is what this channel is. That's what this channel is. It is variety. Where did you and Toby get your, where did you and Toby get your custom light up name signs made? I have a custom light up sign. Do I? Where? I'm looking behind me. I don't have any light up signs behind me. I got a fake clock from Redbubble. Am I blind? That, 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 I mean, that doesn't light up. That's handmade by one of her mum's friends. Yeah, and, and this this clock is from Zerka Thursday time. So, and, I, and why I have a Nerf gun there, I don't know. I think I was clearing out that stuff from cupboards, and it just it landed there, and it, I've not moved it since. So yeah, vibes. <clears throat> oh, Josh Monty with the seven Canadian dollars and said, welcome back, mate. Good to see you again. I hope all is well and love in the videos. You, man, make the hard days easier. Much lovely, man. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you feel that way, Josh. Yeah, you're good, JR. No need to apologize. You need to go, you go to a card show. I saw Pokemon cards. Let think you would love. To yeah, I actually do want to go to a card show, to be fair. And I would love day out. You're not wrong. I need to go with Randy at some point, maybe. It could be dangerous, though. Because I'm like, oh, that'd be fine. I'll buy that. I'll buy that. And then I'm leaving with spending a lot of money. 
Like road to goal. Yeah, that's also a thing that could, could and should happen. And with your Arabic lessons, issue with Duolingo is once you start Duolingo, you, you like Duolingo to maintain your streak. And once your streak ends for whatever purpose or reason, I think mine ended because I was on a flight and I forgot to do it. And then like the day, the day changed and then I just couldn't get it back. So I didn't have any freezes left. You just don't want to go back to it. You're sad. You, you, you know, you've you've accumulated this lovely streak and it all ended. So I've, I've lost my hundred and whatever streak. So then I don't want to do any more Arabic or Spanish lessons. I would I would have paid to get my, my streak back. <laughs> and we came up the vlogs, bro. Yeah, I've watched it. I was watching his Texas ones for this. I was watching the scores come in. I was eating my dinner and I was watching the scores come in for the championship. Annoyingly, QPR equalized last 10 minutes. If they had to end to all, it did. You actually put me on Duolingo now on two for five days of French. Jeez, très bien. Très bien. Asian battle looks crazy. Yeah, it is, he is, it is heating up to be saying, you know, we want a specific drive. It's just the we one is a small we one. But you are, I should fulfill the we. Oh my God, the KFC brand deal. That's cool. That's a cool screenshot. Why have you got that, why have you got that screenshot? That's quite cool. I might, still get, I might get some cereal. No any good brands. Any shopping Tesco? <laughs> I'm like Harry. Harry, actually let me know if they have it there. I'm curious. Uh, add as moderator, I save. I found the VOD. Oh my God, that's cold. That's jokes. Man, I appreciate you. Has RP finished now? You on YouTube grind? It, 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 like, it isn't finished in any way, shape or form. I've been traveling and uh, as I've always said, when you leave RP, it's so hard to get back into. And I think now more than ever, it's hard to get back into because I'm going back to nothing. And yes, it's what you make it do what you want, want of it. But I, I, just, I haven't got a need or I want to go back to it right now. I will at some point for sure. It could be tomorrow. It literally could be tomorrow. It might be tomorrow. But it just wasn't today. It wasn't yesterday. Also, thumbnail goes crazy, by the way. I've just seen it on my sub box. I'm like, look, that is a bad man thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it probably will be if it's big Tesco's. Super chat ignored. Oh, that was awesome. Dylan, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Dylan with a te tenner. Sorry, my bad, Dylan. My bad. I was too busy waffling. Um, have you seen the Delta Force? Hawcops trailer. That's is Delta Force on the paintball place. It's actually, it's actually, is it a game? Oh, hang on, a son. Let me let, let, let's have a gander at this. I don't mind having a little look at this. Run the YouTube's. Uh, what is my scene for this? Is it this? Yeah. Fuck me. Sorry, my volume. Well, I'm finding out a lot of games are just looking good right now. But then people pick them up and put them down very quickly. And that's the issue with a lot of games. And this, this visually looks cold. Oh! They can death row as well. Watch out here! That son. What you know I'm getting that, you know, uh, that game ready or not. It's like, it's like ready or not on payday. Is this PvE or 
PvP. What was that? PvE or PvP? Oh my god, the comments are... So this is nothing like the original Delta Force games. Wow, they really took Delta Force just for the name and nostalgia. <laughs> Uh, ZR with a five pounds as well. I said, are you doing, are you going to be doing a supermarket to make series as well like Simon? I should do by the looks of it. Seems like everyone wants that. You want to bang views, make a how I became the UK number one streamer video. So what, what, what would our, what would our reasons be? How, why was I UK number one streamer? Because I did, I streamed a lot of hours when I shouldn't have, and I created drama and was consistent. And what worked then they weren't now either, to fair. I feel like streaming world right now, if you want to bang streaming, you just need to go aim for the clips, right? I wouldn't even I would like back in the day I'd say, oh, yeah, just make sure you're consistent, you stream all the time. Now I'd say, honestly, you stream for a couple of hours and just get clips and then get off and make them. Stream three hours and get as many TikTok clips as possible. That'd be my advice now. How <clears throat> I fell off from being number one UK streamer. Hey, 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 hey. I tried to get back on. Oh wait, uh, Kaylin also said, but if, also with a five pound. I said you should play Supermarket Simulator. I'm in Minter. Could live to see that as a series you do. Wait, should live? Could live? Could live? God knows. God knows. God knows. Uh, what is the globe spinning in the background? Um, it is a globe that spins. It's quite cool. It, it, it doesn't doesn't touch either side. It's actually pretty cool. But it's jarring when it when it. When you actually knock it and the magnet connects it up higher because there's two magnets either side right perfectly balanced so as soon as you can't get it you have to set it back to be right uh jr with a five is like can you find out where toby, toby got his custom light up name <laughs> for fuck's sake i don't know what it is he has a, he has a custom light up toby Dizzle. did sam ham do it for him is it in the video they plan to drop vlogs on the main channel we have a edited vlog that is 32 minutes long yes but i can't Release it until Simon Sunday goes out because it contains an almighty spoiler. Um, so yeah, but I, I will probably post that. I am I am going to post that. In fact, not even probably. I am going to post that. I'm not even going to do Zerka play. <laughs> I'm not going to do Zerka plays. I'm not doing Zerka vlogs. I'm just going on Zerka. Why not? Um, and I have another one. That's not edited. I have just had the footage for it. And I have one that I scrapped already. I so that's fine. There's reasons why. It was logical. It wasn't me thinking for once. Um, that's quite a good concept. Ludwig did. I let YouTube also play a thousand videos. I like that. As long as we regular like Ethan main channel come back. God knows, God knows, God knows. I would actually wrote to a goal though. Uh, I'll, I'll work on thumb. Uh, I need to work on thumb. I have no idea what thumb is yet, but. The views you were getting before you stopped uploading your main channel. I, I was killing it. Why did it, why did, why did you not convince me to stop doing Zerka Thursdays and focus on Tommy T? Because looking back at these views now, I would kill to have these Zerka Thursday views. That, they were cooking. I was on crud. Deliver the 5,000 can be offered one of a kind of Zerka reacts to the internet like Simon does. Does he always do those? Farham with a five pounder said, I want to do, I want to do, I want, Josh, I want to do backdrop and tidy up room. Tidy up your room, please. Josh wants to do backdrop. You want to do it. You, want, you personally want to do the backdrop. Right. Question. Do, do, do I fully just commit to Zerka Plus gets rebranded to Zerka Reacts? And that channel just reacts to all videos that exist. React to what I need, react to whatever. Um, and then I'd make Zerka actually plays and that's where gameplays go. And we separate them entirely and it never, it never changes. It never strays. I think that's the play. And then Zerka Live is just is VODs and I guess highlights of a, if a lot, long highlight. Okay, Zerka plus and I actually the move. So you leave Zerka plus as it is. You mean Zerka reacts. Whereas Zerka RP. That would have been a good channel back in the day, wouldn't it? But Zerka plus is not posted for, which posted two videos, Power World bonuses and did I say plus? I meant reacts. Yeah, you did say plus. I think that is the move. And just, you just firm it, just run a bit. Yeah, but is it creamy? I think separating it is actually better. I'm, I'm pretty convinced at this point now. Uh, Firehand with five pounds to shoot back and make it look pretty. True, it could look prettier. It is a bit of a calamity and, and an amalgamation of products and things in it. Hey, that could be a vlog in itself, couldn't it? I improved my setup because I've had the same one for a very long time. Yeah, I think we just go for, we just go for Jack Sucks at Life's title. 
Honestly, we just go for how many 100k channels can I get? That's a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, true. I didn't do the plaques at Berserk Alive. So Freddy's need a new PC, bang with it. I don't think Freddy's a new PC. I just, I think she just fucked up her Chrome. Today, I'll be eating. I might just react to some videos. Why not? Berserk reacts and that. We've got using Brave now, yeah, to be fair. We can watch Randy's video and Will's video, maybe. Ra Ra Rand Randy on Randolph's channel has got like a simple eating at the worst rated places in London, and then we can watch Will's. Today, I'll be I need to move you. Oh, you bastard. Why are you not connected on this scene? Uh, how do I group you on this? Uh, group selected items. Lovely group. Tell you what, OBS might just absolutely dome on Streamlabs, even though it's the same thing. Uh, check the names. I've read out uh, both the Farhand ones. Farhand wants to change my setup, and I was like, oh, you know what? I can actually just fix up the thing for a vlog or something. Because I saw Simon did like making my, what's it called? He just did like a wardrobe makeover so to speak or wardrobe to sort out or tour of his wardrobe i don't know that was on emerson and games that's it that's is that good enough for main channel we're hitting that point all over again and i think you need to go fuck it i don't give a shit freya jokingly said we should do Frey on say fridays <laughs> yeah well it's harder when you're in my position if i've got my brain you like something i think i need to be impulsive and just do things get in there though uh, JR, the two pounds I found it, Toby Sign, I think it's your Twitter. Say less. So, if you, oh, so now, now you know where it's from. Navaganda mentions. I like all. Did you send it on Twitter? Where? Because I can only see it. Alas. Oh, bloody hell. You've probably been like, Twitter believes that you're spamming me. Circa like travel channel to prove JJ wrong. <laughs> Just make a channel like, hey, look, I'm traveling again. And what? Well, you post so little though on it. You'd post like once a a pleasure. It's fair, twice a month at least. I even said, "Oh yeah, nah, this last a minute game show on Side Plus is fucking hilarious." True. We played. We played like a. Uh, we played like a. What's it called? A brand new. We got like we got like new game show concepts on Side Plus to try and test them out. Do good enough for more Cyber basically. And we get, played a game called Last a Minute, and it's you get a topic and you got to speak about it for a minute, and if you Pause, you repeat yourself, like you stutter, hesitate. Someone someone hits the button and they can like take it off you. It actually is like a really good concept. So that'd be good for more sidemen, I think. You might have seen it on like Reels or whatever. They posted one about Harry and grandparents. Like, I have a grandpa I have one grandparent left. I like grandparents, but mine are all dead. <clears throat> but it's funny, it's funny. It's very actually a very good game show. Right, anyway, let's stop waffling because that isn't what they're supposed to do these streams are. They're supposed to be supposed to be very productive streams, guys. <clears throat> are we getting even more Simon upload this year? Maybe. What, was that, wait, when did, when, when did we post it last time? Oh, shit. Wait, it's, it's been a year. It has been a year. Actually, it's best one about that then. Right, uh, we are doing YouTube mode. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome today to a reaction video. We're reacting to Randy, but not Randy. We're reacting to Randolph. Because he was posted on his main channel and he ate at the worst rated places in London. So Randy's been cooking. Now he's got the vlog scene going. He's got everyone vlogging. Look, even I've got myself an Osmo. I've even got his setup for his phone as well. I've got the exact same setup. Haven't used the phone one yet at all though, but I have used the Osmo. When it turns off, thank you. Thank you. But he's also coming through and killing it uh, with his main channel too. Uh, he's been cooking. He's working. He's grinding in 2024. 2024 is Randy's year. He's trying. Um, so let's see what the worst rated place in London are for food. Today I'll be eating at the worst Angle rated hoodie, the restaurants way. in London. However, not only that. Although this, what's going on? What's going on with the strings? 
not rating right that. These restaurants have been rated zero by the hygiene scale. That means the government has said they're not safe to eat at, which means they also might get shut down. So, <laughs> will I get food poisoning? Keep watching to find I'm out. I'm gonna the shark tosses out That's right, around. guys, today- What was that transition? Bro, like, honestly, I swear, like, that's right, just guys. Good today at I'm visiting like five of the worst life, as hygiene rated restaurants in London. From tangy tasting burgers to uncovering a fake bakery, all ending with a sit down meal at a place one review said, please read this review and consider it a warning. <laughs> Anyways, let's crack on with the video. The journey begins. The first zero rated food spot awaits. And uh, yeah, let's just hope we don't get food poisoning. Hobbies today. Kebab. It might be a possibility. I'm going to try and eat smart, but you never know. We're in the car again. We're driving through London. And yeah, let's just get this show on the road baby give me some dirty food give me some poorly made food mm. okay i'm being weird okay <laughs> let's go going to the first place which is called tubbies which is what i'm gonna be after i've eaten their food <laughs> i'm already tubby though so i guess if, yeah if i do nothing i'll be tubby these reviews are nuts so they shout out their customers <laughs> there's so many sound effects cow <laughs> don't give eye contact and it all feels sad that it's about our money and not our custom eye contact i don't care if you give me eye contact well i mean it's nice to do that but like i'm not going to write a review about it if you don't like I'm not, I'm not trying to sleep with the person who makes the food all right here we go on the way to tubbies right now tubbies not to be confused with telly tubbies or if they've got like a... nothing more london by the way than just food all right, here we go on the way seeing to tubbies a line right bike now. just sadly on the floor they, they, these scenes get thrown around like crazy. They're they're in the Thames. They're everywhere. Oh, tubbies, not to be confused with Telly Tubbies. Do your feet, you like Tinky Winky Burger. I'll be eating that. Whoa! Oh, look at the bike. Say a prayer for the bike. Mm, you point out too. Oh, here we are. Okay, Tubby's Charcoal Grill. The review said this restaurant had rude staff, airs in burgers, and bad kebabs. Perfect. Thank you very much. Take care. Go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Can you yummy, fuck yummy. off a kebab though. It's kind of yeah. hard. It didn't look too bad. Oh my god. <laughs> you got it. Oh no, oh no. Initial nah, thought. The sound effects gotta stop. The sound effects gotta stop. That looked like a many of them. regular average kebab shop. Didn't look too dirty to me. Didn't look bad. I mean, I'm the new inspector. I'm Inspector Morse. Inspector Gadget. But that, to me, I mean, listen, if I have food poisoning and start dying, I will update you guys with that, you know, in due course. But to me, it looked fine. The guy was nice. They were small. They were, they were polite. The kebabs looked clean. What did the guy say? The meat tastes like rubber. The burger was just like, they found a hair in it. Maybe lift up the bun so if you find a hair in it. Here's how it looks. It looks fine to That's me. Actually yummy. Fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, tastes good actually. I would eat this. Well, I mean, I am. <laughs> right, on the way. He actually, also, he saved me. He said, what sauce do you want? I was like, oh, chili, sweet chili. He was like, oh, not sweet, this hot, you know? And I don't like hot food. I mean, listen, kebabs never look good anyway. I probably should put some lettuce but on At 3 a.m., that coffee. would look bad. Oh my God, it's very... <laughs> do you want some? <laughs> I'm still sitting on. Look at this big boy. Boss, man. This big string of it. Ram that down your throat, Randy. Huh? Okay. Which is good. It's, it's just a kebab. Yeah, it's done a meat. You know, it's, it's kebab. So the government have given this a zero on the hygiene scale. So I'll give it my own Randy hygiene scale rating throughout the video. I will say five being the best, yeah. zero being the worst. I'm gonna give it a three yeah. on the hygiene scale because I don't know what the other ones are You're like. You're doing yet. it based and on the ratings of the government one, not actually the ratings of people. Maybe that score will change as we compare the rest. It looked clean to me. It looked like a normal kebab place. Not the cleanest, but like, you know, <clears throat> although I'm starting to <clears throat> get a particular in my throat now. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Mm. Okay, a number of meat sweats later, cakes and we are and on bakes. the way to the next destination. The place we're going next is called Cakes and Bake. Original. Cakes and Bakes Original Forest Gate. Yeah. And all the reviews are saying that, like, what the hell? I thought this was Cakes and Bakes, but it's not. I'll find out if this place is getting one-star reviews because it's a copy or if it's because the food's bad. Because if the food's good, then copy away, my friend. You know, make it better. You know, if you, if you want to call yourself McDonald's instead of McDonald's, do it. But do it better than McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Cakes and Bakes. You know what? That looks good, man. Here we are. Cakes and Bakes. We are here. We are live. Jesus, we are direct. On, As you can see, Cakes and Bakes, next to Ladbrokes. Let's do this, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Apparently, Cakes and Bakes have got stale cake, unhelpful staff, and apparently, bad Sundays. I get a birthday cake. I don't know if it's my birthday, but I could always, yeah. I'm an adult. I'm 29 That's years old, I have a birthday right now. I can have a birthday. Appreciate it, man, thank you. Take care. This cake's a bangin'. I got a cake slice, Look. and I got a Sunday. I can't lie though, this place looks fine. That was great. I don't know what everyone's complaining about. It looks clean, it looks fine. I got a, yeah, I'm happy. Wait, what even is that? That looks a Sunday. mad. Or yeah, a Sunday, mate, come on. That's good, man. I have no idea why it's a zero on the hygiene scale. It can't be. There's a full-on fight going on over there, behind the bin. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a fight going on. 
cool, man. We won't film it, but actually, it genuinely is a whole fight. He's London for A guy you. and two girls. Oh, she's pushing him, she's hitting him. Oh my god, she's kicking him. You know what? Let's eat this and get out of here. Yeah, let's, bro. I want to bounce. I'm scared. Let's you bounce, don't pay bounce. me enough for this. <laughs> you brought us here, man. Okay, here we go. Chocolate triple slice. This looks beer. It's a new word. Wow. I just picked it up. Effects, it up. You know what? Cakes and bakes. Crazy this video. Bad. Shame on you. It's a good rated restaurant, a good rated cakery, bakery. I give it. On the cleanly scale, I give it a five, man. This is spotless, yeah. All right, on to the next one. Why did that get a zero rating? I don't know. It probably is the back, though. Yeah. The back is probably like just rats and shit. <laughs> but I can't taste the rats. So. But what does the food hygiene rating actually there mean? We go. Well, let me quickly explain. The UK government carries out inspections at all restaurants and takeaways, scoring their ability to hygienically handle food, the physical condition of the business, oh, and doing it. how the business it's manages AI. its food. Five being the highest score, meaning they are close to perfect, and well, zero, meaning if they don't get their act sorted, they will be shut down. <laughs> Trust me, daddy. Next up is Chicago 30. <laughs> is right? so I'm going to assume this is like a pizza place or like, I don't know, Italian, maybe pasta. Uh, what, are you, what are you saying, Carl? It is a pizza shop. I brought a pizza of nine inches and it is smaller than nine inches. God, Randy. no, never. Who measures? What's nine inches is huge. Nine inches is massive, by the way. That's so big. It's, it's way too big. So the rule for this one should be you have to order a pizza of, of nine inch and you have to and make sure it. it's nine inches <laughs> by any means possible. Okay, okay. Bike driver needed, Carl. I'm just saying, if these videos don't work out, leave a like on this video so Cal doesn't have to come be a bike driver here. Support Cal. Cheers, what Randy should do is he should do a video now, being their bike driver for a day. <laughs> no worries. Chicago City. Bad pizzas, unclean seats, and extremely slow service. Okay, here we go. Nine inch pizza. 450. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you, I'll be waiting here. Real quick, I just posted a photo of Cal in my Kofi Randolph membership club. Link in the description if you want to check it out. But no, we're here now in Chicago 30. I'm, I'm enjoying the interior of this place. It looks very, it doesn't look great to be honest, but it looks as standard as all of the, you know, pizza chicken shops do in, in the UK and London. I think people are too picky, man. I can't be that, I'll be, I'll be honest. Although maybe the government aren't. I'm sure they've got a reason to rate these places low. Mm -hmm. All right. There's recent inspection as well. Ooh. Oh wow. Daddy. Oh, we got flexed on wheels. Oh, why did <laughs> we got flexed why on wheels? Why put a salad? You're just saying daddy in there. Ooh. Oh wow. Daddy. Oh, we got flexed on wheels. Oh, I climbed fence and you just have daddy. <laughs> we got flexed on. Did you get that? <laughs> we got you guys are idiots. Climb over, man. I want to intro this as a typical YouTuber, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be trying another restaurant rated zero by the hygiene scale in England. Oh my gosh, we have mayo. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, enjoying ketchup. this more, mm -hmm. isn't it? Who puts ketchup on pizza? Do you? I bet, I bet oh. you do. No, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? You like ketchup with nuggets, right? We had no sauce. Yeah, no, ketchup with nuggets is normal. No, it's not. Again, that place wasn't bad. It was dirty in the rest. The seats felt like school chairs. That's, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> The chicken, it was actually a shop, pizza shop, but... <laughs> Fucking seats felt like school chairs. <laughs> Avoid at, at all costs. That looks banging. That's good. It's pretty good. Is, at cheesy. this point though, like, I, I can see that's cooked. That's not... It, what did the reviewers want? You know, what else do they want? And what, what, what did the government want, man? What does a five place look like? What does a five star look like? Leave a like on this video, guys. We'll yeah. go to the restaurants rated five on the hygiene scale. Okay, ready? Ow. You know what? That is just a lovely pizza. That's just really good. But, but the <laughs> was it just was it just JJ saying? Who was it saying? Bevo, Bevo. Wait, that place was popping. There was like six people in there. I saw people walking out of there with, with the same box. Of to be fair though, look at the clientele. You have got like a uh, painter who's like getting a cheap pizza in, and this on his sports direct bag. He just carry. He just climbs fences. In there, I saw people walking out of there with, with the same box as this. Mm, 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 mm. Was it four hundred fifty pizza by the way? For this place, I'm gonna give it. I'll take, you know, well, I'll take a zero rating I'm gonna compare for a 4.5. to the oh, first place with like, Tubbies. Tubbies, like, that looks pretty spotless, right? But this one had crumbs on the floor, had crumbs on the, like, the little armrest thing where I was sat, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a two for that. But the food was good, though. The pizza was banging. The pizza was absolutely banging. I love that. We've been eating fast food for the entirety of this video. 50s, and next up, we are going to a place called Fast Food. I kid you not, it's literally called Fast Food. Like, imagine being in that meeting, man, like, okay. New business. What do we call it? Do we call it, you know, Chicago 30? Do we call it... More Monleys, Morleys. Well, what do we call it? KFD? What's that? Kentucky Fried Dick. <laughs> um, I've got an idea. Let's last? call it fast food. I rate it though. It does what it says on the tin, but we're going to try it out. What, what's, what's fast food? I feel like us, you know, uh, cereal. We went for just, just best. It's the best. This is the best cereal. Simple, you know. It, you got to taste it to argue otherwise. 
place. Bro, <laughs> these reviews were wild. Really? By far the worst place to get food. It's just not true though. It's just not gonna be true. It's not gonna be by far the worst place to get food. These reviewers need a kick in the face, man. They did too fair. They have attached a picture and it oh, doesn't God. look amazing, mate. Okay, we're gonna order chips. Give me another review. What, what else is it bad? First time in my life I couldn't eat even a quarter of the burger. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, they said it's sour. What, the beef is sour? Yeah. Kind of sour. Hoping I don't get a stomach ache from this. <laughs> what is a stomach ache? <laughs> Fast food. Burgers, oh Donna kebabs, fries. It's actually this place scary. apparently has sour burgers, crap fries, and no condiments. What? I'll try that, yeah, sure. Oh, it's nice in there, though. Okay, that was good, man. Thank you. Oh, I said mayo. I'll get you a bit of mayo. I like mayo with chips. Thank you. Cheers, appreciate Ooh, it. Tango dark berry. Thank you, have a good one. Take care, take care. This is the funniest thing. So we just we've ordered food, you know. Hang on. Look, please tell me he's going to address this. Surely he addressed this, by the way. He has to be addressing this. There's no way he does not address this. And chips, like the review said as well. And look, this is just a four, four out of five. This is not even part of the video, technically. We've just gone to get some good food. Well, well we're going to check that out when we get home. Did you go to the wrong one? But, but look, you can't not put a sticker on there. That's like, illegal to do that, right? They're not breaking the law. But yeah, interesting, interesting. Dude! Okay. New review coming soon. Ah. So maybe mm -hmm. they've changed it around. So eating from a four out of five rated restaurant there, man. I wonder what they did to improve it. Got rid of the rats. <laughs> Here's a quarter that pounder. as well. That looks actually really good. It looks like, like photos. This is, uh, the, the review said sour. Okay. It's good. Any sour notes? No. Well, I actually, I actually do taste a bit of sourness, but I, I think I had some sweet and sour sauce on it. Can we go again? This is good though. <laughs> This is good, man. This is really, like, this is actually, by the way, earlier, the one that I had has not got an inch on this. Does that make sense? Yeah. You did it all that. in the same day. I would eat, like, bro, fast food. He... On <laughs> Lee's no Guys, it. check it out. A four out of five on the cleanliness scale. I'll give it a five out of five today. This is good munch, man. Good food. Oh, I, don't know. I hate the word munch. Good food, though. Let's go. Right, you ready for the final place? Yeah, I mean, we're in standstill traffic right now. We ain't Sushi and Thai. So, yeah, you might as well just hit me with these reviews. Like, this White review Chapel. is all capitals, and it says, Please read this review and consider this a warning. Please do not come here. I have had the most severe food poisoning after eating at this, and they put in like commas, restaurant. Oh no. This review also mentions the hygiene rating. It is run yeah, down. Sushi and is very a fast dirty. food, it's not really. There's a reason they have a one star food hygiene rating. Now it's zero star. It's gone down. The one we just went to went up. Yeah. This one's gone down. Wait, so and this is a sit down one you said? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go in there and have a meal together. Again. Candle it, dinner. Okay. Awesome. Are you gonna eat this one? Nah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not trying to get food poisoning. Neither am I, man. I don't want food poisoning either. <laughs> Sushi and Thai Express. And guys, we've made it to our final restaurant. The reviews for this one are bad. Literal food poisoning, getting scammed, and an unclean restaurant. Sushi, you be yeah, careful sure. of fish. Just yeah. raw, isn't it? Sushi. Sure, sure. Thank you, thank you. I think I'm shaking. Raw fish. You, got, you got me shaking now. You should ask the chef for a second. Oh, sure, I'm sure, okay. <laughs> what does the chef call? <laughs> oh, okay. I just don't know how to order. Are you ever stay long enough? You let me order. I could just stay here all day. <laughs> 7 p.m. I'm just waiting. <laughs> Cows put overtime in today. <laughs> yeah, can I can I order? Yeah. What do you recommend? Okay, I'll try prawn tempura crunch. Spicy. No. Oh sure. Okay, that's fine. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Prawn toast is good. I try. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Sure, sure. Simple order. Prawn toast seems safe enough, right? Right. And prawn tempura crunch. Thank you. Sick man. Thanks. Yep. Yep. They sound Thank banging you. to be fair. Appreciate it. Like Thank a prawn for a roll. Thank you. I'll try sushi first. Oh. Pretty good. Mm. Pretty banging. I've had Uber Eats worse than that before. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, this is good, man. Even prawn toast is hard to fuck up, really. Okay, okay. Good. No. That's not as good. This is good. This is not as good. He put that in the microwave as well. Just microwave it. There's no problem, but mm, okay. he's gonna ask me if it's good or not. Oh yeah, it's great, man. Yeah, it's great. This is not good. So it's not good. This is okay. 
This one's actually really nice, mm. but I'm just worried, you know. So, um, I guess, all in all, not bad, not too bad. All right, so that was pretty good, you know. The sushi was actually really nice. I like in the that. restaurant. The sure. sushi was good. Whether it will be later, I'm not sure. The, the prawn toast was really bad, though. I saw him just put it into a microwave. He like, picked it out of a fridge that was in the middle of the restaurant, took it around the back to where I could see it, and just whacked it in the microwave. So I feel like that's some like as the price or like some Iceland like you know, which is price. okay. It's not bad to do that. I don't think is it. Gordon Ramsay probably would disagree, but the sushi was good. However, if you, I'm not sure if you can hear it on the clip of the people next to us. They get like, she was waiting for ages for like, a takeaway. Take you guys have that, yeah, that was hard to tell what rating I'll give it. But you know what? I'm gonna say it's not as bad as <clears throat> it's not as bad as it sounded on the review. So well, as as far as you know right now. Yeah, as far as I know right now, like. And I guess that's why these like yeah, he has so basically just well, tall like, on the surface they look fine. He's East London and just gone for lunch five times. He's weak. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> it's giving Zerka Thursday vibes. On the surface it looks fine, but you never know, right? All right, final rating for me on that one. I would say it was a nice vibe. I was enjoying the music. You know, the guy was friendly by the way. The guy was really friendly. He didn't try and oversell me. The only thing he did was try and charge me a pound extra for the spicy. But like, I could have said no. I, th I think I did say no, but like, he still gave it a spicy anyway. But, um, I'd probably give it a three out of five, honestly. Like, yeah. Than he should have done like a Ryan Trey and actually like uh, left a review. I had to leave at least one five star review on, on all of them or one of them. I had to find a reason why to give it a five star review. Did I give that a two? two? What I could see was clean, you know? With Chicago 30, there's like actually like crumbs on the floor and like dirt on the floor, but like, this one seemed. That's probably where they get you. Where it seems the most clean, it's the most actually mean. There you go, that's free. Free one. So there we have it guys. Randy's official ratings of the restaurants. Despite Chicago 30 being at the bottom, it's my favorite. So do what you want with this information and I'll <laughs> so we got no we got nothing from you. You said it's two out of five, but it's your favorite one. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough, Randy. Fair enough. I say Randolph. It's the Randolph channel, not the Randy channel. It's the Randolph channel. I don't mind that video. I don't mind it. It's well edited. Lots of sound effects though, Cowder's life. Let's lay down on the uh, sound effects, shall we? No more this random daddies being shouted out of nowhere. Uh, but yeah, sure. Lovely, right. Uno, mass, done. <clears throat> Ayo, what the fuck? YouTube live? That's me. Doing what I do, baby. Is it, oh wait, is it the clip? I think it is uh, Louie Lulu. Wait, Dylan with a 20 quid. You can't do 20 quid donations whilst I'm bloody. Which is in general, you can't do 20, they're not allowed to do 20 pound donations. Um, is there a chance we will see a bucket of series? Maybe you and a friend once a month go. To... I feel I like si that was like Simon wanted that like five years ago. You should remind Simon that he, he actually wants to do a bucket list series at some point in his life. He hasn't done it yet. <clears throat> played Hell Divers. Everyone keeps asking about the Hell Divers. Even my PT today was like, "You played Hell Divers?" And I was like, "No." I feel like it's a game that he would enjoy, not me. But I enjoy all games, and I really though. So that's waffle waffle. Oh, well, these videos twenty four minutes. This is oh god. Okay, are you planning on playing Outlast Trials? So that game's already... Oh no. Harry, is it not there? Do they not have any? I'm waiting. Okay, with Outlast Trials, um, did... It... I swear it came out ages ago. Why is it now out again? Or was it, was it early access before? Dylan with 20 quid again! Is it just because you said I wasn't loud? Dylan, stop. Thank you, but stop. Go to your local Tesco's and, and buy some cereal for me instead. <clears throat> You need to go into sub in village in real life. I have. I should be apt to it though, shouldn't I? I've watched it on a plane. I can watch it again. This. I tried to have it. What's going on? I've, I feel like they in Tesco's there was in loads of them. I guess some of them are going to come. They're going to come out late because they haven't. Their restocking days different. Or reshelving days different. Do you any other flavors? I would recommend mixing them. It sounds weird, but I would recommend it. All right, why is my, why is the voice going? That's bad. All right, we're back into YouTube mode. <clears throat> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome today to a reaction. Today we have Will N.E. Uh, 100 hours on world's most luxurious train. Now, looking forward to this, right? I want to see the execution and I want to see the train and it, what content is on a train. Because I want to do side men like $10,000 versus $100 train. Because it's different. And like, what the hell would you expect from a big train? Do we get like a private carriage? Do we get, a, a, do I get a, a custom train made? I'm curious. So let's see what this one is. I believe that this one is in Peru though, right? I feel like I saw the intro have that like Machu Picchu in it. This 
is the world's most luxurious train. It's got five-star dining, you get free drinks the whole way, and after four days on board traveling through the heart of Peru, it takes you up to an actual wonder of the world. A sight that me and my mate Mikey here have always dreamed of seeing. Where is Mikey, by the way? Cheers. Quality acting from Will there. Hi, Will. Welcome to Lima. Mikey, welcome to Arequipa. As we could only oh, afford I, one ticket on the world's most luxurious train, one of you will be making your own way to Machu Picchu. The first one to arrive at the base of the mountain will be allowed up it. You've dragged us all the way here and only one of us gets to see it. Thank you. Oh, no way, no way, this is it baby, the golden ticket! This is oh, Top Gear vibes, the Grand Tour oh, vibes. Oh, is that the car? Oh, it's got cameras on it, of course that's the fucking car. Now, while Will was dealing with that terrible news, I went to go check out my train, and although it- We would love this anyway, Will loves driving. Will, Will likes his go-karting, he's with a car man. I would also enjoy the driving part. Felt like I had entered the shag pad of King Charles himself. There was one big problem. It wasn't moving, and it wasn't going to be moving until 7pm this evening, Explorer. which gave Will a golden opportunity to get a head start. That's a bad man whip. Abby? Abby, there's a man in my car. Yeah. Why is there a man in my car? He's here to help you. Do we know his name? David. David. <laughs> and David's going to be there the whole time? Yes. Okay. David. Okay, nice to meet you, David. Sorry about that, David. My name is Will. ¿Qué tal? Mi nombre es David. Y tenemos un super viaje adelante hasta Cusco. Vamos a pasar por Nazca, Abancay, Chalhuanca. Abby, he's just called me a wanker. <laughs> Ahora vamos a bajar aquí a la playa. Vamos a bajar por este camino. Es, a a la playa. es el Morro Solar. Mm. En 1879 hubo una guerra. Es un día de sol. La gente va a la playa. Todo el mundo va a la playa. Now, thankfully, after a bit of time, me and David managed to navigate oh, like the language waffle. barrier. Derecho, derecho, derecho. 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 Es el Morro Solar. Mm. En Sorry about that, David. ¿Qué tal? Mi nombre es David. Mm. La playa. Vamos a bajar por este camino a la Costa Verde. Es el Morro Solar. Mm. En 1879 hubo una guerra. Es un día de sol. La gente va a la playa. Todo el mundo va a la playa. I think that means beach. Now, after a bit of time, me and David managed to navigate the language like some barrier. Subtitles, that. Derecho, derecho. Eso. But unfortunately, we weren't having derecho, the same derecho. luck Izquierda. with the traffic. Disculpa, si yo digo lisuras, uh, I'm cursing in español. <laughs> Wait, you do speak English? While Will was happy someone could understand him for once, I was beginning to be joined by my fellow passengers. Looking around, I couldn't tell if I was here to board a train or if I had stumbled into a retirement home. But I thought the least I could do was make use of the unlimited champagne. Once the last member He's of Piers Morgan's one. fan club arrived, we were told to make our way to the dining room, where I enjoyed some exquisite canapes coupled with a delightful warm beverage. Because unlike Will in 2016, I don't have a problem with a little tea. Meanwhile, uh, me and David had finally left nice. the busy streets of Good Lima line. behind and we're beginning to bond over a mutual affinity um, for horse tranquilizer. Do you like drum and bass? Yes. Oh. I fucking love drum and bass, man. <laughs> Wait, what the? David likes it's drum and bass? Over here, like soccer. Football, oh yeah. He's a raver. Yes, Yeah. big time. So I support Newcastle? Yes. Uh, one of my favourite all-time oh. all Newcastle players, Nobby Solano. Yes. The first Peruvian to play in the Premier League. That's pretty awesome. Solano. Nobby Solano. What a finish. Solano, man, he made me feel proud of the Peruvian yeah. team more than once. Now, by this part of the day, not only had David started speaking English. Miracles happen when you are in movement. It was beginning to look like he was never going to stop. My dad always told me, it doesn't matter who runs the show, son. You gotta wake up early and go fucking buzz your balls. Amen. 
and they talk about four different plants make a big change in the history of humankind. Yeah. And potato was one of them. Oh, sick. And she got pregnant and he got a baby. It reminds me of that Jamie and Harry clip where Jamie's just waffling and Harry's like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It was Atahualpa. Even the fucking <laughs> Chinese have potatoes. He said, hey, listen, do you like girls? And he gave up his sisters. And here in Peru, we have 12 hundred varieties of potatoes. What the fuck you're gonna do with 1200 kinds of potatoes? Finally, after hours of waiting, it was time to board my train. Oh, they got that candle lit red carpet. But before I could now, get I'm too down to this for a video, man. I was I want to I want to one of these trains. I was being served over-engineered tortellini. And once I saw my tortellini, I thought blimey, I hope I've got room for dessert. For the main course, I chose fish of the day, which was now swimming in the ocean of Peruvian wine that had formed in my stomach. Smash it in <laughs> as much as I'm allowed. And for dessert, a Peruvian chocolate texture. And what a yummy texture Ooh. it was, accompanied by some Peruvian tea. My taste buds were feeling overstimulated by flavor, so I decided to reset my palate by once again taking full advantage of the free unlimited drinks. Now, sadly, they weren't the only things Mikey was trying to take advantage of. Do you have a bunk bed? And just like Barbara here, me and David were about to find out that we were in grave danger. Where the fuck this is are it. we? There's a crosses over there, you see? Hang on, is this a cemetery? Yes. I would like to know, I actually would like to know if he, if Will knows what's going on or not. Or does he trust his producers enough to just make him videos these days? I, ooh. I watch, this for, I watch this for Lens thinking that Will knows what's going on. I'm curious to know. So it turns out everyone on the train is English, which is great because I did not learn much Spanish before I got here. So. He's bevved. Vamos. I've... I had too much to drink. I've drunk a lot of local Peruvian cocktails. And let me tell you, they're no joke. I know this is a race to Machu Picchu, but uh, you got to enjoy the process, right? It's the end of day one. I think the train's making good progress. <laughs> He's actually a legend, I can't by the way. control the train, can I? I don't know how Will's getting on. I doubt very well. What have you done? Um, what are you supposed to be? We need everyone's ID, please. What? Right. He said that uh, it's a very risky area and we can be assaulted or so, that's what their main concern. Good evening viewers, we've chosen a campsite that is not only a graveyard but apparently um, full of drug addicts and uh, there's a high chance um, of being assaulted. But alas we've got no more money and nowhere else to stay so we're just going to firm it. Dear Diary, today I began my journey towards Machu Picchu. I think one speed bump would probably kill half the passengers on this train. But thankfully, this Jeez. is the smoothest ride I've had since Will's mum on a water... Staff member go crazy. Train. But thankfully, this is the smoothest ride I've had since Will's mum on a waterbed. Thank you for that, Michael. Uh, now, undeterred by our surroundings, I decided to educate David on what people are like where I'm from. You familiar with Geordie Shaw? Terrible people, fantastic drinkers, right? Uh, this is Ant and Deck, fantastic people, terrible drinkers. After my refreshing shower, it was getting late, so I thought, I wonder if the bar's still open. I got myself another cocktail, and after that, it was definitely my bedtime. So I got one more to help me sleep. Will? Who is Raoul Moat? Oh no. <laughs> now with that, it was time for us both to settle down for the night. And the problem for me was that not only is Mikey's bed much bigger and comfier than mine, it was also moving fast. Ah, oh. what a shot. Time for another perfect day. Si no puedes decir si, quien puede decidir? What a vibe. He's 
the landscape's pretty beautiful. All right, so we're here in Nazca. That's right. And tonight we want to be in Chalhuanca. That will be the ideal. Would you say we've done the hard part? Uh, not really. Time for a quick room tour. So the room is called Capoli 2. And the first thing that catches your eye when you enter is the bed. And looking at who's in it, I'd say it's king-sized. Now to the left of the bed, we have two large windows. And honestly, I sat here for hours, just hoping I might catch a glimpse of a northerner wrapped around a lamppost. To the right of the bed, you have a secret window, which leads into the hallway. Cream everywhere! That's what I thought when I saw the decor in the bathroom. On the shelves next to the sink, you'll find a selection of bathrooms from supplies, including Very a moisturizer, so soaps, and a shower cap. Bathroom mirror one. A bathroom mirror two. Bathroom mirror three. Bathroom mirror four. And of course, the most impressive feature of the bathroom, the shower. And let me tell you, hot water isn't a concern. I left it on all night to help me sleep, and I still had a lovely shower in the morning. Back in your room, you'll find the typical hotel supplies, like a hairdryer, bottle opener, and postcards. Wild, You're that's also what I'm given to, these two complimentary Belmond bags to help you carry your extreme wealth. And if you want to stay in this room for a two-night journey to Machu Picchu, it'll cost you just 7000 350 American dollars. All right, viewers, uh, we are <laughs> back on the road. It is about fucking 20 million degrees. But alas, we're on the move and we it are It fits the bill for the 10K versus $100 or $1. Hopefully. Oh, it's beautiful. Jeez. We're heading to the mountains. Now, with a 10-hour day of driving ahead of us, today I thought I'd return the favor and educate David on my culture. Who is this? Brother, this is Gino D. Jordy, we also have a saying that's vamos, um, and it's Hawaii. Yeah, oh, Hawaii, man. Hawaii? It's okay. just like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Or, like, Wait, or, lads. or if someone's been a dickhead, you go, oh, Hawaii, man, like, stop it. Like, how you like, oh, really? uh, <laughs> sort it out. Why I? Now, the observant among you may notice that my train isn't moving, which is not ideal. You see, we have stopped off for a guided tour Oof. of Lake Titicaca to see the floating islands. And as we left the island, I thought, I bet this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Unfortunately, stick. I would have lost that bet, because it turns out we had many more islands to visit. And as we journeyed deeper into the breathtaking scenery, I could only think one thing. Fuck, this is really eating into my time. You're having a great time. That's what it matters. This year again. Buenas tardes, caballero. Vio los otros dos carritos que pasaron ahorita. Somos tres. I guess he brought in David as a translator the whole time. Documental. El señor no habla español. Cuando tienes el honor de usar el uniforme, amigo, lo llevas contigo hasta el último de tus días. Yo tuve fuerza aérea. It's the pasty police. Gracias, más antiguo. Vamos a la playa. Hasta luego. Gracias. Hasta luego. Why did they sí. steal your pasty? I said, do you have lunch already? I said, no, we are in service. I said, would you like to have a cheese empanada? Yeah. Oh, yes, man, that would be ah. awesome. Jeez, Over on my side, I was food. being held hostage by what felt like the Conservatives' annual meeting. Put enough, enough haircuts through their books to wash money elsewhere. Fortunately, it was soon interrupted by our lunch and a dance lesson from the natives. I'm just hoping they They're can do laundering. hip replacements on the train. After the show, thankfully, we were told to start making our way back to the train. And we did. Very, very slowly. Now, my friends, as we pass through the mountains and settle down for lunch, David turned to me off camera and said, Will, what do you use to manage your money? David, oh, have you no. heard of uh, No, no, no. So anyway, back on the road and I was beginning to think David might have been a Geordie all along. Big John Byrne lost a finger up your ma, a finger up your ma. A finger up your mom. You're an honorary Geordie. <laughs> now, this might have been the longest I've gone without seeing Mikey in years. And I was loving every minute. Have you ever seen a Macam in Milan? Have you fuck? However, a certain other little prick was about to ruin my day. Oh, fuck. It's a fat tire. I think you punctured. Oh, shit, that's flat. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a f it was a fucking nail. Do we have a spare? We got a spare. Uh, where's the jack? All in the back. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah! There you go. Ah! No time, no time, no time. So, in here we have 
Oh, that's a fucking cooker, David. We need to find a flat surface. Right, let's pick up the fucking pace. The train is late. You're not fucking kidding, brother. There you go. Boys, I owe um, Student Finance England 14,000 Great British Pounds for an automotive engineering degree. Whoa! I haven't got a fucking clue what we're doing. Just got back to my room, and once again, it's all been made. I've not lifted a single finger. Yeah, I'll do it. It's coming off. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck, man. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at the state of the inside of this. Shit, man. There you go. I think we're all set. <sighs> please. 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 Nice. How much driving do you think we have left? <laughs> Let's think about 18 hours. About that. Cinematically, this, this video is gorgeous. Power ball, and they are traditional in the Peruvian Andes and are symbols of protection and fortune. I feel like Will could do with this. I'm probably all right. Who would you see? Get Bev again, mate. You might as well, Mikey. Peru. I will say the Admiral Miguel Grau. He was a uh, captain of the Huascar ship mm. in the war between Peru and Chile, and he gave up his life. He died right there fighting oh, on his ship. What about the UK? Um, Danny Aaron's? Yeah, yeah, Danny Aaron's, man. Dear Diary, today I've seen parts of the world that most people will never get to see. Untouched landscapes surrounded by beautiful mountains. But still, the thought of Machu Picchu consumes my mind. The train may be fast, but the passengers are not. So all I can do now is sit tight and pray that. that Will is involved in some sort of horrendous car accident. Look at so that. my friends, as our second day came, that real? Up, that was cold. Mikey and I both sat down to eat, completely unaware of just how far the other had made it. What do you have for us tonight? Then? We want to do a chicken stew accompanied with some jello Peruvian potatoes. Oh, oh, the ones you were telling me about? That's the one I told you. What we really weren't aware of, though, was that this could all end up being completely pointless. How have you heard the rumours about Machu Picchu? Uh, I heard something, yes. Sylvia's. Uh, we have came, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000 miles to Peru, and we've just got news that things fucking closed. You see, just as we set off on our journey two days ago, the Peruvian Tourism Board took the ticketing rights to Machu Picchu away from local operators and sold them to one of Peru's richest private companies, and it kicked off. So, my friends, we've got 48 hours to hope that that all gets resolved. Or we've come here for no fucking reason. No, that's sorry, that's not true, is it, David? We've had a great time so far. And you've seen some great landscapes. Peru. But it is an absolute lifelong goal of mine to see that place. And if we get so close and we don't see it, I'm going to be distraught. Querida, no sé cómo sanar esta herida. La tengo abierta y duele toda mi vida. Cassiero del Diablo. What a, what a vino that is. So food is ready, coffee is ready. Oh, what more could you ask for, man? And you have to be honest with me at the time you... but train crashes instead. Look at that. Not moving again, but it's beautiful. My final day on the train started with a worrying realization that once again, we weren't moving. It turns out my fellow passengers had requested to stop and view some of the local wildlife. And to be honest, if they wanted to see gray haired, disheveled creatures that spit when they talk, they could have just looked in a mirror. Now, as Mikey and the geriatrics <laughs> made their way back to the train, David and I were Mikey's approaching the hometown off. of Abankai, where he'd be leaving us. Uh, just keep going straight. Make a left here. Over there, that's my stop. This door here. This is it, my man. <laughs> Brother! It's been great, bro. It's been real. It's been real. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of your help. And I'm gonna that's sad. All the way to the end of it. Before you go, though, we do have a quick little present for you. Oh, you come go, on, man. man. We've got a Newcastle United top on oh, with Nobby no Solano on the back. <laughs> Whoa, man. This is awesome. I've also got myself. Oh, I've got yes. myself. We've got a match. Solano, <laughs> yes. 
Hey, brother. I'll see you soon. Take care, man. Have fun. See you later. Later, bro. Keep the to make matters worse, Mikey's train had begun to close in on our final destination. And if everything went smoothly for him, he would arrive at Machu Picchu tonight, meaning I had absolutely no time for any more delays. Oh, shit. OK. <laughs> he needs to read now. Hola. Uh, no comprende uh, inglés. No comprende. Meanwhile, I was having my own problems. You see, my train doesn't actually no go all the English, way eh? to Machu Picchu. Its final stop is Cusco. And once I arrived no at Cusco, I was going to need to change trains to reach the finish line. However, due to naturally occurring predators like the puddle slowing my fellow passengers down, we were running behind schedule, which meant it was possible that I could miss the last train of the day. Lonely. This is now the final leg, and hopefully we make it there before the train. And when we do make it there, we're actually allowed to make it there. So, quick update: we'll be in Cusco in about three hours, and we were meant to be in Cusco now. Claps off the train. You got a lot. Oh. It's curtains, isn't it? This is curtains. He's won. Fucking look at this, man. That was that's that's <laughs> cold oh. though. Hello, that friend. was sick. Uh, you're witnessing the end. We've lost. I've that's lost. sick. And we're just in the biggest thunder and lightning storm I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. That's perfect. You. I'll say good night to you. I'll say good night to you. Go get yourselves to a hotel. I'm not setting my tent up here. I'm going to sleep in the car and we can all go home and call this a happy little mistake in the morning. Vamos. Fuck. Look how beautiful that is. It's poetic almost. I missed the train. So oh. I'm in a hotel room in Cusco and all I can do is try and catch the first train tomorrow morning. I think what we've learned from this adventure is that it doesn't matter where you're from. We all laugh, we all love, and we all have fucking train strikes. It's a local beer, yeah, Golden Gibson. The Reed's back. You're fucking kidding me. You're fucking... David! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I was lost <laughs> in the woods <laughs> on the dark. <laughs> the fairies yeah. found yeah. me. Eat that beer. That was sick. That was a very sick video. Very, very sick video. See, look, that YouTube is going crazy, man. Love that from you, Will. That's big. That was very, very big. That was sick. It was edited sick. It was cinematically shot sick. Had a nice story it's to it. Didn't I'm end not... the way it's supposed to end, but it ended even better, I think. Very, very sick. Very sick. Well, check out Will. You want to watch it yourself, obviously. It's already got views, but go watch it if you watch this one. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Farewell! That was a cold video, Jesus.
like Willy Industries. That was very sick. I found it very inspiring when we have like sick videos. I'm like, oh yeah, like, I want to do something sick now. What can we do? Which is office? No. Oh, I have seen Cal. I've seen, I've seen Freeze video. The Earth Boy Hours in Desert, I've watched that. So I feel like I shouldn't watch it again because I have seen it. It's massive. Oh, I guess these sponsors are paying well. They gotta be paying well, these sponsors these days. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, right, let me see the super chat saves miss out as well. Cynthia with the uh, seven Aussie dollars, I guess that is right. Will Bessie ever come to Australia and how do I watch having Netflix in Australia? It's not on ours. Um, first question, uh, hopefully, along with people in the UK vibe with it and it does well from there. Uh, and Netflix Australia, well, I would recommend you invest in a way to watch it. Or ask Netflix, hey, I'm from Australia. Where is it? Why is it not here? Uh, Thomas Koski with the membership, thank you. Ollie Terry uh, with the £2 and said, can I see some custom Air Force Ones? This would be custom Air Force Ones. That would be cool. Uh, JR with a £5 said me again about the type of design. I think a screenshot to your post. You yeah, add me from my post from before. You can just at me normally. JR. That is not how, that's not how Twitter works. Right, you replied to my finally post with that. Show additional replies. There you go. This, this sign's Zerka. How do you know where Toby is? I haven't got a scooby doo where that's from, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a Toby question. Instagram DM or something. Because I really don't know. Is streaming days over now considering you have so much stuff planned? No, 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 no. We're streaming right now. We're literally live right now. It's on a different platform, that's all. I was cooking for the Sidemen Sunday. Uh, this one's pretty, the one card's pretty, the one card's pretty good. One next week should be pretty good. Uh, what's after that? I mean, there's a lot of good ones coming, I think. I hope. Chip Fat. No shot, it's the Chip Fat. What are you doing over here? Teasy Among Us DVD box set. Boss, we can't be doing that. That's, that's, for, that's for you, the advertiser, not me. You, you are our number one promoter of Among Us. You need to keep promoting it, please. Uh, Jordan with £2 also. And say, come on, uh, her burning Kevin Nisbet. Well, here, Nisbet hasn't done much for us. He, he's not been the sign I want him to be yet, but I don't know if that's his fault or the team's fault or, not, or what, I don't know. Do a shot at XIX. Well, we know what happened if you do a shot at XIX. We, we'll be very much know the difference between me and you. We are not the same. Cynthia with a free odds does they should do some old prop hunt or series of Simon. Jeez, a prop hunt, you know. Cool. <laughs> uh, you've had some great times on the XIX chip, to be fair. Victor planning Midsommar for Sidemen, maybe potential Sidemen Sunday video. That scares the life out of me. It isn't like, <laughs> I've, I've seen the Midsommar film and that terrifies me. So thank you, I appreciate the £2. And thank you, JR, the £2 also. Appreciate you. Good old prop hunt times. We used to play copyright music, didn't we? Switzerland and Trains of Madness. Yeah, that's what I was looking at, you know, like a nice bougie Swiss train. And then like we get some dodgy sleeper train that's like, I don't know how we find it. Or we put them on like just a Ramo train. Right, what are we doing next? Am I reacting to more videos? I haven't got else to react to, to be fair, because I need to... Or do I go do some um, some games? Uh, Mohamed Habib with a £2, thank you, appreciate you. I've seen B's video, I've seen Ryan's video. It's the issue, because I've, I've, I've been away travelling, I like always download videos for the plane. So I actually watch a lot of YouTube right now, so I need to not do that. Uh, have you got stats on where your viewers live? A lot of Swedes watch your content? Yeah, uh, Norway and Sweden, we have massive audiences. I think Norway actually has the highest percentage of subscribers in comparison to population. That makes sense. So like, it's like six, I don't know what the percent is, but it's quite high. Like the percent of population that's subscribed to the Sidemen is pretty nuts. It might be about 20% or something. I'm having to be with a two pound again and setting in place with my simulator. I definitely should, but I need to finish other stuff first, I think. In its current climate, I have uh, you know what? I might watch, I might watch a video, of Harry, because I have seen it, but I might just watch it because I, it, I can at least add stuff to it. Hell. Screw it! Why not? YouTube mode on. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome today to another reaction. Today, I'm watching a video that I've already seen before, but I watched it on a plane on my phone uh, on a long journey somewhere. Um, but basically, it is a guy called Kevlar who visits the Sidemen village uh, in Bali. Uh, Sidemen is actually a real place. Uh, I think it's actually called Sidemen. Uh, it is in Indonesia, in Bali, about two hours from the main airport, I believe. We've looked into it a lot. We've done research. There was plans 
kind of in motion, but didn't actually happen, about going there on a trip when we went to Australia. Um, but it hasn't really formulated anything yet because we've not been in Australia still. But I am still down for this video. I've seen Simon react to it and I saw Simon is down. We have all been down. Um, God knows what you do there. But sideband go to sideband is a survive, isn't it, really? Um, or sideband spend 24 hours in sideband? I don't even know. But from what I've seen, it's actually like, I think it's a, it's a Indonesian rice village, but it's actually like pretty beautiful. Like people go there for like Instagram posts. There's actually like some, like there's like a waterfall there and stuff. Anyway, this guy goes there. This is Let's Sidemen, a real life village with the same name as our favorite YouTube group. And we're here to find out whether the people here have heard of the Sidemen. Do you know KSI is? Visit a few familiar spots and create a memory from the depths of Sidemen. But to do all of that, we're gonna need some help. Morning, morning. Yeah, how are you? How you doing? Good. This is Pancha, a sideman tour guide who helps thick British idiots like me to explore the village. We're in the east side of Bali, 12,490 kilometers away from the sideman. And we have to complete these seven sideman ready to challenges before we leave. That's Dip me, into no? the sideman. Is that me? No, who is that? That's Simon. Yeah, Simon by the bag. I think, yeah, it's Simon. Leave. Dip into the Sidemen waterfall, visit Harry's dog stay, take a stroll in the Sidemen rice terrace, make a piece of XIX jewellery, explore the Sidemen hotel, take a cool photo with a bottle of Prime, and find a local that knows the Sidemen. I started off by asking Pancha whether he knew who they were. I have heard through the internet because ah. when I set my, my services on Google ah. and then I found it on the internet. But oh true, if we like ruined that, we've ruined that whole place's Google search, no? Like, if you set the side, then. Yeah. Wow, we've actually ruined their whole place. Like, you. Oh. Whoops. We've ruined, we've ruined their SEO. They're literally not in the search results for their own place. Surprised that there is a group of <laughs> YouTubers. Do you think many of the locals? What's that like? Flowrider taking over Florida search results. What's up? A good example of that. Who's another person like that? Can't think of one. No, they decided not. Mm, not really. It was time to enter the town centre and find out whether anyone in this village knows to decide. Let's see if we can go there. Let's see if we can do a video. Yeah. To like locals. It's a mysterious. I just, uh, he's just left. I'm trying to find parking. I'm to ask a few yeah, locals. Like, it bark off Instagram photos. He just, it just he says side men everywhere. But they know who KSI and the rest of the boys are. Doggy. Nobody. So busy today. Passa side men. Passa side men. Let's go find some food. Morning. Morning. I'm gonna get some of these. Hiya. Uh, uh, do you know who KSI is? No? Can I get five, five, five of these? Five of these. No one speaks English. Fast like a thousand crab. I've got some bananas. I've got some pandan. Oh, this about so, yeah, what's that? This is uh, sticky rice mixed with black rice. Oh, so okay. So we'll put the uh, palm sugar on top like that. Yeah. Out. How do you ask about any of Do you know the side man? Link in the man. 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 Link the man. Link in the the man. Cool. We're in a rice terrace now. Sidemen rice terrace. Oh wow. Ah, oh, you can go in. Oh, Sidemen tracking. 
but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I see you. In the chat. Oh wow, that's pretty. What's it called again? Salak. Salak. Yes, because the skin is like snakes. That's mm. why. It's... Okay. <sighs> it's a bit like pears and apples mixed into one. That's what Corinna said. <laughs> <laughs> we completed the first task on our list, and we headed to the Sidemen waterfall. This is the list the Instagram place people go to. Pretty chill there, pretty good vibes. That's our second task completed. Before I came here, I'd heard about this five star hotel in Sidemen. That's an infinity pool. For Hang on a second. We could do five star versus one star in Sidemen. Sidemen. Sidemen five star versus one. No, yeah, five star versus one star in Sidemen. That's barking off that place. These have got private pools. A hotel in Sidemen. That's an infinity pool with a view of Mount Agong, a real life active volcano. Climb the mountain. We had to go and check it out. It only cost us 20 quid to get in, and the place was huge. It took me like five minutes just to get to the pool, and it even connected to a river. Dude, this view is insane. Ugh. I've just ordered myself a mojito. <laughs> in the meantime, you can watch me swim. I've got some Carpe Paradise. Muffled audio in it, let's go! Look who just uploaded. Watching the sidemen and sidemen. Hey, that was a while ago. You need to leave. This is looking yummy. Daily recap, it is raining a lot, <laughs> so I'm getting wet doing this, but we've done a lot today. We went to the Sidemen village, we went to a rice paddy, the waterfall and the Sidemen hotel. To be honest with you, it's actually really, really cool. Very excited for what's in store tomorrow. Wow, that was nice. Morning. Shot. How are you doing? I'm good. You good? How are you? Yeah, very good, very good. Our first stop today is quite special. I'd seen that all of the Sidemen had an XIX chain, except Harry. Different one now. It just I've got seems to hate like dangly metal chain thing is like I just can't deal with it. So I actually find it like repulsive. <laughs> like, no, no. So I wanted to make something that he may actually like. I decided to create a custom XIX ring made in Sidemen. I messaged the Sidemen Harry Silver Shop to see whether this was possible and it turned out it Any was. Kind of he so hates. I'm going to introduce you to Kevin's masterclass in silver rings. You start by melting silver balls. You pour it into a mold. You drop it in cold water. You whack it. You put it into the pasta machine. You let the nice man take over because you're a bit useless. You keep letting the nice man work his magic. Then after a while, voila, we have a ring. I polished it. It reminds me of that TikTok Don, you know, the guy who's like, he does science lessons, but he does it in roads. He's like, you basically, what you do is you put the sodium chloride with this and then you get like this reaction in it. And it's because it creates this, it creates sulfate. Ended it down it's that same vibe. and ended up with a shiny XIX ring. I want to show you now what it looks like. I've got it in a bag here. Though. Here is the actual silver ring. That is such a neaky thing to do. My hand over here. Actually, actually genuinely pretty cool. That's our I fourth task that completed. Ring. We stopped by Pancha's cousin's shop to get some food before heading on. Okay, thank you. What's your cousin going to decide right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, we noticed that uh, terminology, but not really yeah, the idea yeah, yeah, yeah. what this excitement is all about. They have to start walking to this up, they make uh, for our fifth task, we have to travel out of Sidemen to this famous temple in Bali that is infamous because of Instagram. Over 300,000 people visit here every year, mainly for the photos that you can take. Oh yeah, that's like that so this gave me an idea to take this bottle of Prime all the way to the top of the temple and pose for some photos. It was a steep climb, but luckily we had a bus to take us to the top. As it was a holy temple, we had to wear a sarong before entering. All we had to do now was wait until our number gets called out. Who are you? Who are you? 
I've actually got it pretty quite like well organized. I walked up with complete confidence. That's actually you. pretty sick. Because most like of these expectation versus reality tourism places don't. They're just a mess. Like you have photos that don't look anything like what they are when you get there. So that's actually pretty well done by them. It's like Argos, you get your number called out, you go take your photo. You fuck off. I like that. And did my poses with possibly the first bottle of prime in this country. There was also this round thing and a swing. That's our oh, fifth task completed. That was sick. I'll show you the final prime photos at the end. I did also ask around if anyone knew the sidemen, and even using my broken Spanish. <laughs> No, no, no. That's still no, I had no luck. luck. Tomorrow is actually our last day here, and it's actually quite sad leaving. Hangcha brought his son Good Day along for the final day. And as we're actually leaving Sidemen to visit Harry's dog's day, this is likely our last interaction with a Sidemen local. So I had to use this final opportunity to see if he knew the Sidemen. You know who is Sidemen? Sidemen, YouTube, YouTube group. Sidemen are the, the YouTube now today. No, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> so you're, 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 you're the only one you know. Well, we didn't find a local that knew the Sidemen. That's my task Hancher, as well. Which doesn't really count. So unfortunately, that's a fail. Anyways, we drove towards our final stop, and obviously right, when we got there, task. I had to do a Harry impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Take care, guys. Okay, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you later. See you later. Oh, gonna miss him. But before I leave, I went back to the silver shop this morning to create something. Do you remember the XIX thing that I made yesterday? Well, there was a second version that was too big for a ring. I got it made into a pendant. So as you can see, I is now have repping the same. XIX pendant. And I'm going to give it to one of you guys. All you have to do is leave a comment and I'll pick a winner in a month. Okay, bye. That was sick. That was very well executed video. I'm not sure it was a cold. Yeah, that was actually very well executed. I like that. That was a good video. Very good video. So, should we go there? We have to go there at some point, right? Oz and you come in and win it. Yeah, can I win it? Is that possible? <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> I've already got one. Can't be allowed, surely. Okay. All you have to do is leave a comment and I'll pick a winner in a month. Okay, bye. I like photo number two the most. Even though this one's quite quirky and fun. That's sick though, honestly. Race aside, man. Yeah, I mean, you could do like two videos, I guess. You could do a race and then whatever. No, that's one video. I think you just do a race and whoever gets there first gets five star. And how do you race that? I... You just, or you just go there, honestly. Or you just go there and you don't make it like... I saw Simon say, you haven't got to make it in some big concept. We can just go there and just do whatever. And just, just have it being cool that we're in there all together as one. That, that also is a good idea in itself, to be fair. That's how excitement is a good video in itself. I guess it's... It's like a fan service video. You have to know who we are first, really, I guess, but... Hey, oh. Hide and seek in Simon. Do every concept possible. True. I mean, is there other stuff you can film in Bali? Like... I haven't been Bali, but obviously it's, it's a tourism... And crazy there, right? So like, there's gonna be lots of other cool stuff in Bali to see and visit. What's that? The sky scanner, single flight. You ha you ca you can't go direct. We can go direct. Ah, oh, it's fair. As as always though, DXB will get you there. So you just go to Dubai, do something in Dubai, and then fly from there to Dubai. DXB is the GOAT. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I mean, it's a bit a long flight, but oh well. <laughs> Can we get much higher? How many done it all in Dubai, though? I, I, people who say that, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's so much to do in Dubai that we don't even touch, we've, we've touched the most surface level stuff in Dubai. And so we don't even done that either. No, I don't think, not, not in videos we haven't. Why you hate JJ? God, I just despise that man. Grr, hate him. Do heart, do heart, I'll see, it's not too bad. I've actually been to Qatar, to be fair. Right, what we did, so no, no, that's three videos reacted to. So I feel like that would be a good, 
a good way and time to say, you know what, fuck it, it's now called Zerka Reacts. Done. Just do it. Zerka actually plays. We post all the actual pros, all, all the playthroughs on there. Post video on Zerka Plays, stinks a little bit, post it back on Zerka actually plays. If I want to play on the game, I can just play it on. That's, that's it. I think I think I think we just do that, right? I think that's is is what it is. Means you've got Zerka, Zerka plays, Zerka reacts, Zerka actually plays, Zerka live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what colour does uh Zerka actually plays go? Keep it green, maybe keep it green, just go like a darker green. Or fully yellow, actually, yeah. Maybe fully yellow might be it. Yeah, I think fully yellow is the is the is the play. Like a neon yellow. We got we got purpley for Zerka Plus. Zerka reacts. We have to fill out we should we should fill out the whole fucking gradient of colours. Every single every single one I should do. Every colour and make a new channel for it. Next up, Zerka Geoguessa. Next up <laughs> Zerka Pokemon. Zerka Zerka opens. Zerka packs. Zerka packs, and it's just me opening side cards every day and Pokemon cards every day. All day long. <laughs> uh. Wasn't there like a Reddit post back in the day where it was like all the different channels I could make and it was like Z like Zerka plants or like Zerka garden or something. Zerka gardening? God, Zerka Reddit, what a time, man. To be fair, someone actually did make a post. That's how I made this post back in the day. Zerka food, Zerka makeup, Zerka and phrase. And Zerka hub. I'm trying to find that actual post. Oh. Oh, I would, oh my God. I'd love to do that video as well. This would be a good video. Like, look, the, mo the most, Simon, most explicit road trip, but it's just twat, you go from twat to, twat to Shitterton. And you go from, one team goes from twat to Shitterton, and one team goes from Shitterton, Shitterton to twat. It's to go from Shitterton to Ars Hill, to Fingering Ho, to Cock Alley, Penis Stone, Cockermouth. You go Cock Fosters in London, Dick Place, Cockbridge. I don't know why it ends in cock and balls torture cooking, cooking school though. Like, what the fuck is that for a place? Why, why is that a place? <laughs> it should never be a place. Cock and balls tor cook to torture cooking school. That can't be right. I was trying to find the posts so I can find all the channels so I can get inspo, but I can't actually find them. I can only assume they would have put like... Search Reddit, so search the word channels. Honestly, Sam, I just say, yeah, just send it, go for it. Yeah, cool, we just send it. I mean, there is good going back, so I can just change it any time. So that, what's, the, what's the worry about? Literally, what is to worry about? There's nothing to stress about. Where is that post? Yeah, I did. Scrolling, scrolling, doom scrolling, just trying to find it. It was a good post, man. Where, why did I not get any love? Wait, 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 you sent another one? No, isn't that one. It actually, it actually had like, them all listed out, and it had like fake profiles for them all. I mean, there's a, a mini golf versus real life Zerka Thursday. How'd that work though? I mean, I've done a real life, real life mini golf. I said, oh, welcome to this new real, real life mini golf series. And I took on Ethan and that was it. And it ended there. <laughs> so that's fair. Someone three years ago said you should make a Zerka vlogs channel. Zerka plants? Can they find it? Sorry, I can't find it. I was trying to go for Reddit to try and find it. But maybe it's not about post. It's not about anymore. They might have deactivated it or something. Uh, yeah, Harry, that video was a title like PGA Tour brand deal. I think it's on Simon's second channel and one was on Seb's. It was on Peter Finch's. Did I post one? I think I did. Zerka Tube, Zerka Random, Zerka Old, Zerka Kids, Zerka Girls, Zerka Drive, Zerka Beast, Zerka Retirement Plan, Zerka GTA 6, Zerka Travel, Zerka Can't Be Bothered. <laughs> Although Zerka Plus is a cool name, what does, where does Zerka Plus go? What's what like? I said it's raining somehow. I have to get Zerka actually plays uh, monetized and verified also. Jinxie and Cyven shoot. I think we should just do us versus Jinxie on uh, Rainbow Six. To be fair, I think that's the best, most organic like collab we could do. For now, anyway. No, I like I like the loads of loads of channel meta. I don't know. I feel that's quite a fun. It's quite a fun meta. I overthought it and I think it's too much. I should just send it. Who else has loads of channels? Like, Danny Aaron's got a few. He's got, like, I think he's got the same as me, though. He's got our, He's got normal, clips, play, no, not plays, more, shorts and VOD. And Jack, Jack Sucks at Life is the GOAT, though, because he has Jack Sucks at Life, Jack Sucks at Stuff, Jack Sucks at Geography, Jack Macy Welsh, Jack Sucks at Clips, No Context, Jack Sucks at Life, Geography, Stuff, 
don't subscribe. Jack sucks at Espanol. Jack's epic YouTube channel full of, I can't read the rest of it. Jack's epic YouTube channel and Turd Boy. Bro, his Espanol channel's got 1.5 million subs. In enero de 2020. That's cold. It's cooking. Jobless Garrett. Yeah, how many has he got? I so like, you're probably wondering how. Oh my God, he's got loads. Jobless Garrett. He's got Game of Gary. Gary Blocks. Reaction Hacks. Reacting to Gaming. Reaction Shorts. Outlaw Gary. Oh my God. He's got Gary Shorts. Gary Plays. Gary Games. Since when? So you're probably wondering how I got. Since when the fuck do you have this many channels? What is going on, my? No, it's smart though. Like this, yeah, it is smart. You should separate your channels, I think, because it means that all the audience for that channel, for that that content, is in one place. It's good. And they get, so they get if they get to like you, they'll go to other stuff. It make it does make sense. Because the old school meta for us is like you would just post everything on one channel, everyone would watch everything because sub boxes worked. Bro, we, we, I found the most to, oddly have, satisfying. Oh We've got to do. We've got to do a cover cop. Just make Zerka AI. I'll just have a channel. This is me. It's not even. Not even me. <laughs> Imagine. Realistically, realistic, Tommy T should have made a YouTube channel just called Tommy T. And the profile should have picture should have been him. That would have been jokes. He could. Have, he, he would have 100k subs easy. Ask Muncher of four thousand. What a name. I might make. I might make an Ask Muncher of three thousand as my YouTube channel, YouTube name. And that's it. Theory me. It's eleven forty seven. Am I tired enough yet? I could do one more thing, couldn't I? What else could I do? I, I mean, right now I'm just making it. I'm just we're just we're just freestyling, discussing about this whole channel situation. Which I, I don't mind the waffle, too fair. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. Honey, I'm still free. Okay, so we need to change Zerka Plus over to Zerka Reacts, and I need to make a brand new channel called Zerka Actually Plays. Is there a better name than Zerka Actually Plays? Because I have Zerka Plays. So is there a better channel name than Zerka actually plays? Or is that funny? It's a good meme. Zerka play Zerka plays through. Zerka Zerka walks. Zerka I think actually plays is actually the funniest one. Like it's like you actually play like I'm actually playing through the games here. And what I think what we do, Sam, is that let's say like say I post episode one on Zerka plays and it stinks or whatever. We then go back and we just repost we have to post the whole series the whole series on Zerka actually plays still as well though. So you still post episode one on there. So it all, it all still sits on that channel regardless, I think, is the best way of doing it. And then Zerka Plays will become us just like custom compilation reactions and uh, like me playing a sim game I had the first time or whatever. Um, things we think will do well. Things we think are going to do well. And then Zerka Actually Plays will just be the games that don't do as well anymore. Like Pacific, Pacific Drive would end up on there, right? Because the third episode got 28k. Um and the games that I wanted to carry on and finish would go on there. Like the Hogwarts would have gone on there after episode one or two. Being Private Zion. It's then, does, <laughs> then it argues, do you have to make Zerka FIFA? But Zerka is not a thing anymore. Zerka FC? Zerka, Zerka FC? Go. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago. The year is. Shush. He always waffles and everything on the channel. 10 years ago. I need to change that fucking video, that featured video. Yeah, Harry, well, I, th I think that's road to, road to a goal on the main channel is the best thing we can do. And then I can then like have a narrative of like, I'm trying to train to be better because next charity match, I've got to be striker. So, you know, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to get c cooking and scoring. And that's easy content. Just go around, kill different people. If you actually lean into that series properly, that could be a sick series if you actually get some good content out of it. It's a beautiful day. Zerka Shorts Gamer to the head thing in the intro every time. Hey guys, Comedy Shorts Gamer here. And he became Deji. Right, no, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that mindset and that layout. I'm just, I've, I've been wanting to do it for a while, so we're just doing it. I, I'm gung hoing it at this point. I've had enough Hello. thinking. Whilst worse happens, it doesn't work out, and we go back to what we had before. It literally doesn't matter at all. And you get a new channel of 50k subs for the fun of it. Do you stream and play in Pacific Drive? I didn't because I had the game like really early. Uh, and then, yeah, I've not recorded it since I had it early. So I recorded three episodes and then stopped. Mm -mm -mm. Right. I may end actually and not overcook it, overdo it. because I've got PT session at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um, but luckily I'm actually home all tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. My first day actually all at home the whole day for a while. So I'm going to try and cook tomorrow and get videos done so I might, I might be around on youtube again tomorrow streaming and i need to work on this channel situation there's some good games out obviously the sons of the forest supermarket sim we could try and start maybe 
carry on undisputed try and get further in that um amongst other games and then also need to be, if i'm doing that i need to then i need to then be smart smart and get right ahead on videos we can actually have different channels what cars do you drive plural i drive one it's a big bad man golf best whip have a good night hoping to get that fin vlog coming out it would be a while till that one comes out to be fair it won't be a while but there's one that come out before it that's the best one to come back first because it has more context of me to like i talk about wild fucking vlogging um do, 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 do. yeah sons of the forest we gotta get done as well what color is your bugatti green lime green right appreciate you everyone thank you for the waffle i appreciate you enduring it and watching us uh watch videos that was fun bring out a girl for friends there's actually there's actually a side men tower unite video coming out soon by the way which is pretty interesting um because they're, they're new maps so we thought fuck it let's play one that's cool yeah productive got three reaction videos done we've committed to doing our different channel so i need to get that changed over lovely jubbly uh hasta luego uh i see you in the manana i won't but i'll see you tomorrow bye bye